We're now going to take a look and talk about how to create your web page designs. They have to come from somewhere. And whether it's you creating them and building the website yourself, or if you're in a team environment, somehow those designs have to get created. And there is absolutely no rule for creating that initial design. Trust me, I've seen many, many different programs used for actually creating the ultimate design. It doesn't really matter from a graphics standpoint what program is being used because it's all going to change and be converted into HTML, CSS, and more than likely JavaScript as well for Dreamweaver. So use whatever program you're comfortable with. What I have open here is the Tranquil Travel website, and you can see there will be a slideshow placed here. So at some point, it will go in there, and there's a few varieties of slideshows we'll be creating throughout the course in order to determine which format and which type should go into this area. So I'll scroll up to the top, but this is the basic web design. Now keep in mind when you're creating that design, there has to be some kind of visual to it so that the design itself can be approved by whomever needs to approve it before you ever get to Dreamweaver. So this is all the pre-planning stage for your websites. Now this program, as I said, is Fireworks. It's no longer being updated by Adobe as a version CS6, but there's something in the program I want to show you. It's been a program I've been using from the very beginning along with Dreamweaver. And this particular item, we're on the home page right now. But what I have done is also created a mobile version. And you can do something similar to this using layer comps in Photoshop. I tend to find this one's a little bit quicker and easier to use. But this is my mobile design. So always keep in mind, you're not just designing for a fixed screen size. When you're planning for your website, set up your mobile version as well if you decide to do a different one. And most people now do end up doing some type of different mobile design. But that's what the Tranquil Travel web design would look like as a mobile version. And then I also have set up what the inner pages are going to look like. A lot of people focus on the home page itself right here, but forget that, okay, once they click on something on this home page, we have to go to some other pages and they need to be able to provide content areas for us. So set that up in your planning phase. Now, another program you can use, and specifically if you have the Creative Cloud, which is the version of Dreamweaver we're using here, Photoshop is a product that should be available to you through the Creative Cloud. So if you're in the subscription plan for the product, you do have it available. It does have a bit of a learning curve, so that is something you will probably want to explore in another type of course. But just from a graphic design standpoint, it's a great program to be able to set up the graphics and really fine-tune things but that is Photoshop. If you are not familiar with either one of those products and you have another graphics editor you like, even one as simple as Paint in Windows, it is possible to create your designs in that as long as it ends up a decent visual design that can be approved. So don't feel like you have to use Photoshop or Fireworks as I suggest. If there's a program that you're very familiar with right now, and you can get your design up and together to get it approved, use that program. But this is an example of the design we're going to be working with throughout this course, and I showed it to you both in Photoshop as well as Fireworks. Just keep in mind as you're creating your design, you will want to take a look at not just the home page, you'll also want to plan for those inner pages and more than likely the mobile or smaller screen size version for your website. So just keep that in mind when you're planning and creating your original designs. So you set up designs for those as well. But that's just a very quick overview of how to create the graphic design for your website. 
Use whatever program is comfortable for you so you can end up with the design because it doesn't matter what the graphic design program is. Ultimately, it needs to be converted to HTML, CSS, and probably JavaScript before you get to Dreamweaver, or at least planned out for the conversion. So the graphics editor doesn't matter. It all ends up as code for a web page for a browser to view.